This is when they don't know it. Sit, push down, release the tree. Simple as that. Now, after they get to know it, you don't want to be bending over and pushing on. You want, you're in public, you want, you want your dog to look like it's been trained. So, what you do, eventually you start weaning them off of the food. And you give them a treat maybe every once in a while, okay? You give them a treat after they've been good several times. Uh, you know, off and on during training. You don't give it to them every single time because you want to wean them off. You want them to work when you're not giving them food. You don't always, don't always be giving treats, all right? Food is a great motivator, but I only give food in the first parts of training. I give a treat after he knows how to do it every once in a while. After maybe he's gone through several commands. Heel. One more time. Sit. Butt hit the ground. Give him the tree. Now, not knowing the command, heel. Sit. Push down on the back. Stay. And don't expect them to stay in one spot to start off with because they're not going to. They're a puppy and their attention span is going to be directed elsewhere. There could be a squirrel in the yard, there could be a bird, there could be somebody walking by. And later on I'll introduce that after a while. But the sit command is usually the first thing everybody tries to teach their dog to do. The sit command is the basis of all their training. If you can get a dog to sit, okay, then you can move on to other commands like stay, heal, come, down, and no. No is a must. Okay. This here is my personal dog. He's very well trained, but he's also hard-headed, and they do get that way because of the dominance thing. But Always, when you're when you're training your dogs, try to give a little, what's called a release command. That way, they know that you're done working with them. Hey, okay, good boy, good boy, come, 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 good boy, good boy. Thank you. Show to the door.